And so shall this dance, he said to me, although he said it with a French accent. And, and so, so shall, shall distance. What does and so shall this dance mean, I wonder? And so shall it what? Bring people together? That would be a bit cross-grained for the current social distancing climate, wouldn't it? There are some dances that alienate, I guess. Actually, all dances alienate when you consider dancing bears. They've proven themselves capable over and over again in countless settings. But when the modern dance company, Jacob's Pillow, opened its doors decades ago in the Berkshire Mountains of Western Massachusetts, a known haven for dancing bears. Not one bear was admitted into the troop. Good enough for the circus, maybe? Not the conservatory cut. And so shall this dance be just for bears, all bears. Bears are apparently immune to viruses and social distances, and so shall this dance be a tribute to black bears and white bears and brown bears and blue bears. And so shall this dance be called the bear dance, and may it make believers out of choreographers everywhere those who couldn't quite imagine their elaborate dancing bear visions realized by real dancing bears. Let's face it, social distancing is for the birds, not the bears. Put a dancing bear between you and a neighbor and get your feet back on the dance floor. Put a dancing bear between you and social distancing and all of a sudden there is no social distancing. Social distance is just another name for a bear. And so shall this dance, the bear dance, also be known as the social distance dance. Find a friend and find a bear, and so shall this dance begin.